low. Uh, you can't see it, but this wire right here is the light strip for my chronograph, which is right here, slightly off camera. So I'm going to chronograph this and I'm going to tell you what the shots are, are hitting. We'll see if this works. Uh, I already went through the awful priming process for this first prototype. Um, uh, I probably uploaded the video going over the prototype before this video, so I'll link that in the description uh, going over this prototype. But TLDR, first prototype of a new design, always goes a little bit rocky. This one has a bunch of issues, which you'll see when I try to prime it. Um, if you want more details, go look at the other video. Let's see what it chronographs, though, because it's chronographing, or it seems to be hitting quite a bit harder than I expected. Let's, let's have a look see here. Ninety two. Come on, come on, Seer. So that was 92. 90. There we go, that one went smoother. Last shot. Ninety one. So it seems like an average of around ninety FPS, which is pretty good considering how garbage this prototype is. It's probably making an awful air seal up here, and it's still hitting ninety, which is awesome. Yeah. Actually, let's see how good the air seal is. seal is we'll be able to see the plunger not not great um that so i know that that air seal is not good i know how to solve it uh it's just an issue with uh something that i had to do with the ram in order to get this assembled um yeah i knew that it wouldn't be good air seal uh before i even had it fully assembled in firing. But that's to be expected for a first prototype. Um, performance is pretty good. 91 or, or 90 ish average, let's say, with Mega XL. It's really good. It's really nice. Um, and then once I get the air seal fixed, uh, it should be hitting around 100. So, yeah, pretty good. That's all that I've got for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want more information on this first prototype of the blaster, uh, I will link previous video in the video description.